So in the previous video, we created the above table without any constraints whatsoever. So basically what we can do is specify some extra constraint into our table creation to enforce that before someone inserts a new record into this table, it must satisfy these constraints because currently in our table called person, we can go ahead and pretty much just create a person without an ID, without first name, without last name, without gender, and also without date of birth. So what is the point of having a person without any of this information? So to improve on that, what we can do is simply specify the actual constraint. So on the table below, you can see that the ID becomes now big serial. So this is an improvement because big serials do increment by themselves. And then I'm saying that this column must not be no, so not no. And I'm also specifying that the ID is the primary key for this table. So the ID is what uniquely identifies a person in the actual table. So the same for first name. So what I'm saying is not null. So if you want to insert a person into this table, you should specify the first name, last name, gender, as well as date of birth. Let's go ahead and improve our table with these constraints. So what I'm going to do is go back to iTerm or command line if you are on Windows. And remember, a few videos ago, I showed you how to drop a database. We can also drop tables. Again, you have to be very careful when you perform this operation, but because I'm showing you how to improve this table, we can pretty much drop it and we don't have any data in it as well. So go ahead and simply say drop and then table. And then the table name is called person. Enter. If I now do backslash and then D, you see that did not find any relations. So let's go ahead and improve on the actual table creation. So let me just clear everything and let's go ahead and say create and then table and then person parentheses and then inside, let's go ahead and have ID. This will be big and then serial. So big serial means that it's a signed integer which auto increments. So big serial and then this will be not null. So we must have one of these and then primary key. So all of this is SQL syntax. Let's go ahead and do pretty much the same for first name var char and then this will be 50. Oh, actually, I do have a mistake, so I forgot to add not null. So I'm going to press column and this should break out. So actually not column. So end that like that. And let's go ahead and recreate this. There we go. So now not and then null. Enter. Let's go ahead and grab last name there. And then this should be not and then null. And let's grab the actual gender. So gender, this was var char and then seven, I believe. And then this will be not no. And let's also have the actual date of birth date. And then this also must be not no. So you might be saying, OK, Nelson, so everything is not no. When should a column be nullable? So when a new person is added to this table, they may or may not have an email, right? Not everybody has an email. So we can go ahead and add another column called email. And this will be, uh, let's go ahead and say var and then char. And this will be you know, something a bit bigger. So let's go ahead and say 150 characters. And if I say not null, 
So this is not true because some people don't have an email. So I'm going to leave this column as nullable. So now I'm going to end that with parentheses and also end that with semicolon. If I now press enter, you can see that we have our table. If I control L to clear the screen and then backslash D, you see that we have this person right here, but we also have this person ID sequence. And the reason why we have this sequence is because of the big serial that we created. So big serial, as I mentioned, is an auto increment number. So we don't have to keep on remembering the previous number. So if I go to the docs and then you can see that right here, if I can find it, so right here, auto increment eight byte integer. So this person ID sequence is not a table and you can see right here, it's simply a sequence. So we can go ahead and simply say forward slash or actually backslash and then D and then person and then enter. And now look at this. So our table is much better because we have these constraints right here. So not no for ID for first name, last name, gender and date of birth. And also the actual email. So this email right here is because not everybody has an email. So it is nullable. So this is all for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video where we're going to insert a person into our brand new table. Join me there. See ya.